some of those. I'm literally going to go wrap some presents. And we're going to go have a little ramble about what I've been up to while we do this. So let's do this. Have you done it? Water. Tigs. Move on, pen. Alright, today we're gonna do an ASMR challenge. And we're also gonna do a toy review at the same time. No, fuck off that shit. Alright, so, how you doing? Don't care. I don't know where to bloody start this. You know what, literally, when you shot from Bloody Family, it's literally the most stressful thing. Like, I don't have two of them because my mum was just like persistent on that house. She wanted to give my presents to my uncle and auntie today. So literally how I did have a candle. It was a scented candle. It was like half price of some cheese. I think that was like vanilla or something. I don't know. It was pretty basic. And then I also got seahorse, like chocolate. You know the ones that have like the nut in it and they're banning. Yeah, those ones. Got that as well because literally how they always give me gifts every year. And it's just like how it's probably good if I give them something. God, my legs look skinny. Chris is gonna fill me up good. I do love food quite a bit, not gonna lie. But like, look at the size of this bloody tape. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, the bloody size of it. It's too thick. That's what she said. I don't know where to start. I might just literally just start with mum's boyfriend. Yeah, that seems like a good shout. So, because I literally... Never have a clue with what to get him. I think it was pretty obvious that I was literally just gonna go get him a washer because I think he smells. JK, shower gel, a natural spray, and deodorant. You know, Adidas, and I am very shite at wrapping presents. I hate buying presents because you never know what people want. And also, it's just so long because you literally you spend hours bloody shopping for someone and then you literally just like go, I don't know if that's enough for them, I don't know if that's the right thing for them. ASMR. Oh god, no, shouldn't say that. <laughs> you know when you open it and you have to make sure it's upside down? I always seem to forget that. Do you know what, the thing is, is like, I would love to just get like, funny presents for people, but I don't know how my family would react to it. You know like getting someone of your bloody fleshlight or some shit. I just think that would be freaking hilarious if I got someone that. Especially a relative. They literally just like, unwrap it and they'd be like, what is this? And then they go and look at it and they read it and they're just like, oh. it'd be quite funny. Done. Lovely. Next one. So now I was literally just gonna go with the washing because it was on half price and then my mum was just like, no, you need to get him signed Kel. So we are literally going with a stocking filler. You know like how you have a stock for a stocking filler. Literally. No pun intended. <laughs> it's probably weird being back from uni because like how so used to just being out drinking so very much. I'm here and I'm not going out as much and it's probably weird. I'm used to just being like Bloody God knows how many times a week, just being like, oh yeah, let's go out. Do you know what, it's weird, because I don't have the bloody people to like, just be like, oh yeah, do you want to go out? You know, it just seems like everybody's bloody working, like, I want to go do some stuff, can't we just like, go sightseeing on the side, I don't know, go ice skating. Actually don't, because I've never been, and that would be an absolute disaster. Like, roller skating, oh no, I'm shit out as well. What am I good at? I don't know, it seems like nothing right now, because I can't even cut a piece of paper. People get to that age, I mean, literally how my nieces, for instance, and like before it would be simple to get them presents because you literally just get the toys and then like how as soon as they get to a certain age it's just like you can't bloody get them toys anymore because it's just like they're too old. What happened to when I could go buy your Barbie set? Why, why are socks so bloody hard? It's a bloody wrap. Am I supposed to take them out the bloody wrapping? Like, someone tell me. I need a lot of help. <laughs> I came back and I was like... Oh yeah, at least I won't have to cook as much now, because I really just can't be asked to cook as much now. And then, what have I done every bloody day so far? Cooked every day for my family. God knows, I might even end up bloody cooking Christmas dinner. It's quite funny because it doesn't look like a... <laughs> it doesn't look like a bag of socks. <laughs> so this is a pretty neat present. Got this from my niece, and it's like, um... It's called Mess, and it's like, you basically... tells you to do stuff, and you just basically do it. It's pretty simple, All right? What does it say? Um, do something in a square for 10 seconds, says it there, and then you literally do it in that. That's pretty neat. I came back with the intention of literally being like, oh yes, I get to probably go out loads of my friends and whatnot, but it seems like everybody's busy at work all the bloody time. I understand, like, we all get older and everything, and like, you know, you just have to. Oh, oh that is tidy. And my message is not sending to people or something, because, you know, it seems like I literally go and message people where I'm just like, yo, what then? And then like, I get like no reply and then I have to send a second message and then finally I get a reply. Which I'm not too sure if I feel more festive or less festive this year. But then it's like, I've always felt a little bit festive each year. Yeah, one of my nieces died. Fire frame. 
Um, brother recently moved into a new house. Do you know, it's a good, like, housewarming gift, I reckon. I've kind of, like, do you know what? After me being at uni and going out so much, I literally feel like I've got a little bit bored of going out now. It's more like because you literally go out. Like, a bar or a club is literally just, like, full of just guys dancing and trying it with girls. And then you got the girls, which are just, like just there for a good time really. I just think like you go there and it's like you literally spend like literally just three hours of dancing. You just get bored. Now I end up leaving the club early or like the bar early because I'm just like, I can't be asked this, this is too boring. I don't understand the obsession with it. Do you know what I wish is like how I had like somebody that I could do like secret Santa with. You know like a group of friends or whatnot. You could do like secret Santa with. I think that'd be jokes. But I've never had it before. Orange truck like 12 different choices. See that? So like, if they don't like one, they can give it to someone else, and they can have the other ones, like... You know, because usually I just get, like, people, like, celebration boxes, because I'm, like, it's simple, it's basic. Like, everybody, if you don't like one of the flavours, you have, like, eight other choices, like, it's bloody simple. You don't have to worry about all these other bulls. Do you know what another thing is? It's, like, how, um, I've realised that me being away, I've kind of, like, realised that I really shouldn't be such a dick to people. Stay in all the time at, like, uni. Well, not all the time, but, like, when you do and you literally just, like, by yourself all the time. Is that you realise that how you get a lot of time to think. And I've realised I've said a lot of crap things about people, and I kind of regret it, some of it. Like, I'm just like, God, I was such a dickhead. I might just, like, stay away from the drama for a bit, because it's not wise... And it's like most of the stuff is just like when I've said it when I've had a few to drink. And it's like how I mean it, but like, I don't at the same time. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, someone might get what I mean. So my other niece um, loves reindeers and also how when she has, um, I don't want to be rude. Um, when you, oh god, I'm literally, why am I so dumb? You know the thing where you get older and you go through like the, you know the development of when you go from a child to an adult, um, where a woman, where a female, I don't really want to go into detail. But yeah, when that happens, so like how she loves to have like um, a water bottle to like just like calm her, um, to make her feel better, so like just on her stomach, you know, to get rid of the pain a little. Um, I was with my other niece and then she decided that how she was like, yeah, she loves water bottles, why don't you get her that one? Uh, it's like because it helps her with her uh, period pains, that's the word. And, um, yeah, so that's why it just seems like a good present at the same time, because you know how she kind of needs it. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, she has one that she can like as well, because she apparently uses hot water bottles quite a lot. I think about what people like. My other niece, she enjoys drawing and just being creative, so, like, I'm new to this rapping thing. I know I'm 21, but I'm basically a five-year-old because I can't rap. I can freestyle, though, if that means anything. But I can't wrap presents. I hate my life. Have I ever said that before? Or haven't? Oh, well, yeah, I hate my life. Do you know what I recently learned? So, like, I've, I've heard, like, people are, like, obsessed with putting avocado in a burger. So I decided to try it. Oh, my God. Why have I never tried it before? Because, like, how the thing is, it's, like, when I go and get, like, a burger and whatnot, and then they give you, like, an avocado in it, and I always just, like, take it out, because I'm just, like, what is this? And then now I'm just, like, why have I not had this? Like... What else can I try this with? I ain't gonna be like one of those basic bitches and fucking put it on toast. That's one thing I ain't doing. But like, oh my god, I can't believe I've never like thought of it before. It's like I done like barbecue chicken and then um, put like avocado in it and literally how, because I was curious and then literally, oh my god, best thing ever. Also recently learned how to make a lasagna and a pasta bake. I feel like literally I'm turning into, I feel like I'm at least like 15 now with how much education I have. Do you know what, a video with like uni is just like, you literally, none of it makes any sense. Or like college, if you're like American, I think it's called college. Is that the same efficiency? Is that efficiency? Who do I think I am? I ain't, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Is that the same, is that the same thing in America? I think it is. Oh, uh, why? Why? Why do you hate me? Why does this tape hate me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeet this tape in a second. I can feel the ridge, but I can't seem to end it. What do you mean? So I found other tape. But I don't know how long this is going to last because it's pretty thin. There's not much left. I hang around with more girls at uni than I do guys. PG! PG, he says. Child friendly! <sighs> you know how like, people say that you're supposed to find like someone to like live with or whatnot? But then it seems like everybody else has got like their people that they're living with. And like, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go, I'll go ask these, um, the girls that I'm talking to or whatnot. But then... Because they've already got like their friend group or whatnot, it's a little bit annoying because 
it basically means I don't have you know anybody to live with because they've already found the group of friends that they're gonna live with and you know they're all like girls or whatnot i don't understand this like you know where you get like some where they invite like, a guy or whatnot as well because they're like a close friend or whatnot but then because i'm the type of person i literally how i don't like to attach myself to groups you know how like people just like hang around with like um a group of friends or whatnot goes sorry i'm not listening it's for my niece, quirky. Is it the word? We'll go with it. Yeah, so I thought that one of them or whatnot would be the people that I would live with. And then I then I was just like, okay, so I guess not. So then I started asking the people from my course. End up realizing all the people I chill with, they're like, um, what you call it? You know we get like a foundation year. They've already got housing because they're in their second year. Yeah, so I'm literally just like, I'm gonna be homeless. I'm gonna be living on the streets. I'm gonna go buy a tent. And soon bang, and I'll be fine. So like, I was just like, okay, so we're going to ask, like, ask around with the people who I chill with who don't do the same course as me. Flatmates are out of the question. Okay, so people, my course mates are out of the question. And then I'm just like, okay, so then I'll go and ask people who don't do the same course as me and don't live with me. And then um realize, because I'm asking them later on, and it's just like, apparently they're living with the people that they play football with. Now the thing is, because I'm not like the most like sporty athletic person, so like I don't really get on with guys that much, like how... Well, I get on with some like from hometown, from like here, around home. But it's like a different type of friendship. You get me? People from like uni, it's just like, most of them are just like typical guys, you know, like, I like sports, um, let's watch football. And then uh, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And they're just like, yeah, let's go pull some girls. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Even though I don't care about that. And then it's just... It's like an awkward situation because then oh, I don't get on, um, I get on with them on like a social aspect as in like let's go out drinking, go like socialise or whatnot but like not like more than that so it's like an awkward thing because it's like how so then we don't like message each other outside or whatnot outside of otherwise when we are meeting or when we are drinking. So then I'm literally just like I guess I would never know and then I end up realising that they're living with their football mates that they're playing football with. Obviously, because you know, guys usually play football or any type of sport, really. So then I'm just like even more like screwed. I have nowhere to live, no one to ask. Now I'm just like, when I go back to uni, I guess I'm going to have to go to uni itself and ask what to do because I literally have no idea what to do. Also, do you know what? Literally, how I think I'm gonna like change course because apparently like um you can switch to like second year because is that the first year for these two subjects are exactly the same apparently so i can like switch for next year there's way too much reading for my liking and i want to make i want to make shit i want to make stuff because it's more fun you know like i want to make films and music videos another teacher niece again you know because she's a little bit sassy and i just think that she'll she might like it, I hope she does. Family was asking me, they were just like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I'm just like, I don't know, give me clothes. Like, I know I have plenty of clothes, because I have a lot of clothes. You need flatmates. And you need to learn how to clean up. Clean your damn dishes. And then we get complaints from cleaners being like, I can't clean your dishes. This is my sister. She said she wanted plain black shoes. So I got exactly that. Kind of look like knockoff vans. I feel like this video is literally going to be the longest edit and I literally cannot be asked for it. And it's like when I'm at uni, I literally just can't be asked to cook. So literally how I mainly just have like pasta. Do you know how quick it is to cook past 12 minutes? It's like when you're hungry and you can't be asked. Like you really think I can be asked? So sit there and make curry. I can cook, but I just can't be asked. <laughs> I'm decent at rapping, but how the hell do you rap shoes? Is it weird that I don't watch TV? I was out shopping with my sister the other day and literally how she said that she doesn't, like, she was looking at this Disney stuff and then she was just like, oh God, oh God somebody got me signed Disney, oh, that's like a hate. And then I'm just like, I got her this and I'm literally just like, you wear Disney stuff all the time. What if, what, oh my God, like, I hope my sister likes this. Might be diving into some deep water. We go for the best. <sighs> I got my sister quite a lot of stuff because she's like helped me a lot this year. I had like some drama with some people and anxiety and all that. She is bloody doing this for like, how long? About 40 minutes. Yep, yep, that's great fun. Cause I can get the tape to work. I went to um, Winter Wonderland this year. No, I just love it there because their, beer, their, their drink is insane. And the whole like thing of like Christmas themed is absolutely brilliant. Well, so I don't Done this week, apart from shopping, I'm not drinking twice. Oh my god, how much did I buy for my sister? Fudge. My sister also likes the smell of coconut. Why oh, so serious? Should I do it diagonally? Nah, nah, the three quarters. Get it, I'm British. So I got Mumsy body shop thing. I saw it and I thought it looked cute. Do you know what this literally looks like? So, like, some sort of perfume and like maybe some wash stuff. I don't know. They also got her some Lindor, some Lynch hotness. 
you know, because everyone loved it. He's been recording for apparently 50 minutes. I literally feel like I am recording Katana bloody video. Last one. Merry Christmas, everyone, or happy holidays, and happy new year. <laughs> happy new year, mofos.